Hello, I wanted to share with you an application we've been building which is focused on the insurance industry. This is actually an ArcGIS application. If you open the application, you'll like to see this introductory screen as a pop-up. What we're doing actually here is associating weather data, and in this particular case, hail, with insured home locations. And you'll see a description of what the application does in this opening screen. One thing I wanted to point out was we actually have a sample CSV available. If you actually want to drag your, drop your own data onto this map, you'll need to follow the format of this sample CSV, and I'd encourage you to actually download that and look at that format. So when we uh, open the application, we can just OK through here. What you'll see is you'll see essentially three elements to the screen. You'll see a, a sidebar, you'll see a table, and then you'll see the map. Let's just focus on the map for now. The map is a combination of really two, two data sets. We actually have insured home information, which are with their particular locations, and we have a hail swap here. So this is actually a storm that hit the Dallas area in the early 2016, and we've associated one with the other. Now the table you'll see at the bottom is actually showing each of these homes and information about those homes. So we can actually click on one of these, and it'll actually zoom us into that particular home. Now you will notice that this is actually in a red area of the map, so let's just zoom back a little bit. The red area is actually larger hail swaths, and if you click on here, you'll actually see that we've got large. Three plus is what the red marks, so in this case it's 3.75, the size of the hail. Obviously green is, is smaller size, hail, one inch hail. So this home is actually located in a larger size of hail. And if you actually look at the table, what we've, what we've done automatically is we've actually combined the data sets so we've got the home data, and if you look at this last column that says hail size, we've actually added hail size for that to that particular data set. So we've combined these two data together. If you actually want to export that data, you can actually click on the export button, and you'll see there's a, some options for you to, to export to spreadsheet, XLS, or CSV, whichever you want. So you can actually pull that in, that data in, that combined data. So we've actually done what's called a spatial intersection here. One of the other things we've added to this, so this is actually sample data that, you'll let, that we load automatically in the application, but what we wanted to do is to give you the ability to actually download your own data and do your own data on this map. So we've actually got this uh, CSV, and again, this is the one that you'll have seen if you've downloaded from that uh, introductory screen. You can drag and drop that onto the map, and what you'll see is it basically drops that onto the map itself. So you can click on these individual points, see information about the home, but you'll also see that this, this is a, a, as updated, the table's updated. And again, we've added this new hail size data to this data as well. So if you wanted to drag and drop your own CSV onto this, associate that with the hail size, and then do an export, you can do that. This application is now available in the uh, Esri Marketplace for you to try. Please feel free to contact us if you have more information. Thanks for watching.